Hello everyone, it's Siona from Honouring ME Crochet and the Hooked on Crochet Club and I'm here for crochet and chat tonight. Friday night at last, it's the weekend. It has been a crazy, crazy week this week. All sorts of crazy at work in particular and today at home, um, but fun all the same. And I am here. Hi Carly. I'm here because look, it's border time on this blanket. I am so happy with how it is turning out. And I see my mum. Hi, mum. He's currently travelling. And Joe. Hi, Joanne. So this is the blanket. And today I'd like to say thank you to so many comments for the border I was trying to pick from. Um, it's always a difficult time trying to pick which border. But I thought I'd show you. So this is the book. Oh, hopefully that looks the right way around for you. But that's the book that I have been picking from. So I did go through this morning and pick some designs. Um, and it looks like, so this is one of them, which I agree with a lot of the comments. One of the reasons I picked it was because it looks a lot like the join. So it would continue on. Um, if I did do that one, I'd probably end up adding more to the outside just to give it something different so that's why I did like that one as well this one here is the most popular one that everyone liked and it was one I kept turning back to at the start so I think it was always my favorite too and it's probably the one I'll go to I kind of liked it because it brings out the corners in the squares it's similar sort of to that but different and I too kind of want it to stand out but still blend in with the rest of it. And where's the next one? So we also had this one, which I kind of liked as well for its openness towards the um, join. And then the last one, and I can assure you I chose a lot more before I narrowed that down. I like this one as well because it would give, I don't know, a simple border but a bigger border than what the other ones were that I was picking from. So, yeah, so I did quite like them all, and I probably will end up going with them. So one of the reasons I decided on a bigger border for this one was partly the join, because the join is so big. Um, I didn't want to make the join be all the blanket. I do want to add something for the border. Quite often when I pick a detailed square like that, I'll pick a planar border so that it doesn't detract from the square. But I think with this one, because I've done the join that I have, which is really quite simple and easy, um, I decided that it did need a bigger border. And because the flower itself in the 3D, I think it does need a little bit more something. So I am going to keep it to the cream which I am absolutely loving as well. I'm so glad Yasmin encouraged me for that one because I was picking between white and cream. Um, but it gives it more of that vintage vibe, which I'm after. So I know, uh, this week as well, we've had the, this, what are we on? Day eight of our square a day challenge. And look, I've been keeping them separate. So these are all the squares I've made every morning. The rest of them are in that basket behind me so I'm getting quite a bit of a stash there now it's going to be a nice size blanket for my daughter I've got what have I got eight purples and I think I've well, maybe five of them I think I've done so far or at least to tat and then this one is my new habit and I have to say this has been a habit that I really should have been started a long time ago so this one, so this is a square a day for me as well. I'm intending on it being a top. So we'll see how that goes. See, the idea is that it will be maybe sit there and then I'll do it all in one piece to go around. But I'm also not sure if I'm going to have enough yarn to make a top. So I'm going to join them to make a bolero and then if decide from there if I've got enough. We'll see how many squares I get out of the first skein and see where that takes me. But that's the fun part of designing. You get to, I know I could have drawn it out on paper and figured it out, but that's not how I roll very often. Um, and I had another design come to my head. So where is it? Hang on. So this is our square 
of the month for the crochet clubhouse and it came to me that I can turn this into a top too with granny squares so if you picture that as being a shoulder and then turn that around to join there and have that as the thing and then lots of normal granny squares so that's another top that's on my little to-do list one day but the square in the afternoon has definitely helped me this week. I think I've had a lot of, a lot on my plate at work, not all of it to my plan. Actually, none of it to my plan this week. It's all someone else's plan every single day. Just when I thought it was over, it all came back and bit me again with something new. So it's been really nice to come home. I do a few little things on my phone and whatever and then just sit and make that square. And it is such a nice way to transition, to clear all the crap that went on and allow myself to be at home. Um, so, yeah, it was, it's definitely a habit I'm keeping up after the 30 days as best I can. The idea as well was that I'd read a book after, and I have most days, but... I tend to forget and then have to come back to it. So anyway, so tonight, not the best weather for making a blanket in since today. Last week I was in, what, boots and a scarf on the crochet and chat. And today I'm overdressed in jeans and a sleeveless top because it's, what, 35 degrees and going to be 40 here tomorrow. Crazy weather. Um, but probably a good idea that I'm going to get on with making the border on this blanket so yeah so another thing actually when I think about the border and what I plan to do so when I'm using this one this one's good because it gives the instructions for around the corner a lot of my other border books just tell you the border and you've got to kind of figure out the corner bit so that's why I like this one um, but it also tells you which most of them do but how many stitches to think of and in the corner so I know when I do my foundation row which I'm going to do working into the chain with just single crochet that I'll just keep counting in multiples of six and make sure that I get to that number so sometimes that is what helps me decide like this one would be easier because it's only multiples of three I can count to three that's easy enough counting to six some of them I've seen and just said no to because they're multiples of 20 even this one's pushing it a little bit because it's multiples of eight. Um, so it's important to get the foundation round in the right number to make it so it's easier. And then this one as well I picked because it's found multiples of two. So definitely I know this will have multiples of two in it. So I think I should be all right with the eight or the six, sorry, for this one. And it's really like I know some of you commented to say that you wish you could do it. It's might look a little tricky but it's all double crochet and chains and trebles or if you uk terms um, and then the picots on the edge which they're just chains and a slip stitch or even in this one they're just chains and a single crochet so everyone can do that um, you just got to count a little bit which isn't so bad but i think that will be the one as long as i think it'll be big enough I'm likely to keep changing my mind as well because, you know, that's what I do. But, yeah, so I'm just going to start with this one because if you see the border or the last, it's all backwards for you, but it's chain two, single crochets and chain two spaces. So I'm going to work into, I should end up in multiples of six. If I do single crochet, two of them in the space and then one in the, single crochet then that's three so i just gotta oh, look at that see i don't really have to do any maths for this one even better so anyway so i'm not going to keep rabbiting on but if you ever need help with borders i do recommend going to a book and they don't have to be over complicated um, when it comes to what you want and this one i'm keeping it in a, the single color mostly because so that comes into another factor is what yarn you have left over um i do have little balls of each of the colors left but i don't think it'd be well it won't be enough to add to the border unless i wanted to add some tassels maybe but i won't do that i promise i'll save them for something else because if you look behind me i also bought 
a 500 gram full Lola that matches this bobble box. So I have to come up with an idea for that one as well, which I'm thinking of making maybe a little set, make another matching little blanket maybe to go with it. We'll see. I might even, so I don't think it's a color I would necessarily wear. Oh, and I got a wedding Lola too. Couldn't help myself. I loved the natural one, so I got that too. But yeah, so I think if you're looking for a border, I do recommend this little book. I, some of the others do have a lot more variety in them, but yeah, there's always one that's bound to suit the design that you've got. And it's something, I don't know, just adds to the rest of the, well, that's working out quite nicely already, just a little bit. Adds to the rest of the, the blanket. So, yeah, but I think that's it. I think I'd like to now just go and sit, lose my mind in the border. I do intend on, well, I'd like to finish this blanket this weekend because I'd like this to be my blog post for next week. So the blog post, I'm going to put links to everything that I've used so that you can recreate it if you want to. Um, I didn't change any of the patterns that I did use. So you can definitely follow them the way they are. Though I haven't finished the border yet, so don't hold me to that. I might change what I do with the border. Um, and you never know, once I actually get started, if I don't like how it works with this type of yarn, then I may switch to the other. One of the other ones as well. But either way, I'm looking forward to doing the nice big border on this blanket tonight. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I also now have no children left in school, high school. Some still learning tertiary, but that's okay. No school children, no more school book lists, no more anything school. So exciting. So... Yeah, I think I'm just going to stop because I'm just rambling now. It's been lovely to see you all. And well done those of you who are on my Square A Day Challenge. It's not too late if you still want to join in. Um, but I'm going to go and sit and enjoy this border. And I might update in my stories if you want to keep track of what I'm doing with it. But yeah, okay. Enjoy the, enjoy the weekend. And if you're in Perth, Stay safe in this hot, hot weather. Um, remember your sunscreen, says the pale person. All right. Enjoy, everyone. I'll be back this time next week. If there's anything anyone wants me to actually cover properly in a crochet and chat besides my ramble, let me know and I'll cover a topic. All right. Bye.